Hi, welcome back to Spirit's Path. And today we are going to talk about the new moon in Aquarius. That's uh, set to happen here uh, on February 11th, which I do believe is a Thursday. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, that's, this new moon is coming around quickly after the full moon here at the end of January. Um, but the Aquarius new moon is an opportunity to uh, set out and uh, well it's set out in, of the box intentions really and to make your plans according to what you really want um, most people right now have a lot of planets in, in Aquarius and uh, it's very good time to you know get out there and you know especially with the new moon figure out what it is you do want and uh, not worry about what other people think or expect. And this spread is, is brought to you by uh, Biddy Tarot. And uh, the, the six questions that she talks about is, you know, uh, what unique gifts do you bring to the table? How can you best utilize those gifts for the betterment of humanity? Where would you most like to see social change and equality? You know, maybe in the world or within yourself. How are you best placed to communicate your ideas with the world? Where can you connect with others who align with your vision and uh, for the future? And which areas of your life would you benefit from express expressing vulnerability? So those are the six questions for this new moon in Aquarius and uh, let's get started. So, question number one, what unique gifts do you bring to the table during this new moon in Aquarius? As you're about to uh, set out on out-of-the-box intentions to make your plans known, you know, what's the opportunity? What unique gifts do you have to that opportunity to bring to the table? Ace of Arrows, Breath of Life. So you have a new opportunity, a new beginning. Okay. How can you best utilize those gifts for the betterment of humanity? How can you best utilize those gifts for the betterment of humanity? During this new moon in Aquarius, the archer. For this new moon in Aquarius, where would you most like to see social change and equality? Where would you like to see social change and equality? Seven of Arrows, Insecurity. How are you best placed to communicate your ideas with the world? Eight of Arrows, Struggle. How can you connect with others who align with your vision for the future? How can you connect with others who align with your vision for the future during this new moon in Aquarius? For an opportunity. Knight of Arrows, Hawk. And what areas of your life would benefit from expressing vulnerability, opening yourself up, to make your plans known, to not worry about what other people think or expect? What areas of your life would you benefit from expressing your vulnerability during this new moon in Aquarius? Four of arrows, rest. So there you have it. Ace of Arrows, Breath of Life, looking at the unique gifts you bring to the table. The Archer, how you can best utilize those gifts. Seven of Arrows, Insecurity, and where you most like to see social change and equality. Eight of Arrows, Struggle, on how you best placed to communicate those ideas with the world. How you, can you connect with others who align with your vision for the future as represented by the Knight of Arrows and Hawk and which areas of your life would benefit from expressing vulnerability. All right, so what unique gifts do you bring to the table? The Ace of Arrows, Breath of Life. And let me see if I can focus on the card like that. All right, just hold it off to the side. Um, during this Aquarius new moon, you know, to set, to have that opportunity to set different intentions that are out there, um, you have that ability with the new beginning in arrows, in logic and reasoning 
to really express those plans that you have. To be able to set those uh, goals, that opportunity in motion, to, to talk to people, all right? To use the logic and reasoning that you do have to, you know, get what you really want and not what other buddy, everybody else wants or you know expects. You're able to come across and um, use your communication skills, use your mental skills of logic and reasoning to really open people up to help with that creative energy that's out there to get what you want. And I don't want to say that you're going to be manipulative manipulative in how you do things, but you're going to talk with people and use your mental resources that you have to get the things that you want during this new moon in Aquarius, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, a new, new opportunity, all right, and you know, you're going to do so in a way where it's going to be out of the box. You're not going to be thinking in the box, all right? You're going to be thinking outside of the box on how to... Um, you know, get whatever it is you want, all right? Whether that's security, whether that's finances, whether that's love, relationship, whatever it is you want during this new moon in Aquarius. How can you best utilize these gifts for the betterment of humanity is represented by the Archer, a life lessons card. And what I like about this card, okay, and she's got the bowstring drawn back. She's got her eyes on the prize. She knows exactly what her target is. So if, you're, if your unique gift is reasoning and communication and you know, the ability to you know, use logic to get what you want, keep your eyes to the target for the betterment of humanity as well as for the betterment of yourself. All right? Stay true to the target and the goal that's out there. Maybe, you know, your goal, your goal is aligned to the goal of, you know, bettering humanity. Maybe there's a, a greater force at, at work here. Within you, during this new moon, to, to make your plans accordingly, you know? to what is, you know, that aligns for yourself as well as humanity. So keep your eyes to that prize and use your gifts of communication, logic and reasoning, you know, to get what it is you want by staying true to the target. Where would you most like to see social change and equality? It's represented by the seven of arrows and insecurity. I think, you know, the biggest thing with this card is to step down off that rock. Step down off that rock and not let those vines of doubt and insecurity entangle you. All right? Um, if you're able to use your gift of communication and keeping your eyes on the prize with that with that archer. Use those two those two opportunities, the gift and the goal and the intention that you have to help with social change. To make things equal. Make those, you know, think outside the box and now don't let that insecurity seep in. Don't let the drama keep you from making that social change. Don't let the other people's expectations hold you back from equalizing the playing field on what you want to do, whether that's a romantic playing field, whether it's a financial playing field, all right, uh, a work situation, however you want to look at it. 
Stay true to the communication process that's out there. Use your logic and your reasoning, reasoning during this opportunity in the new moon at Aquarius to plan accordingly. All right, let it better humanity and stay positive and don't get drawn into, into the drama and don't get drawn into the rumor mill. All right, don't let that insecurity um, strengthen you or let me, let me rephrase it. Don't let that insecurity grab you to hold you back from making that social change and equality, you know, and make, you know, changes to equality, you know, in the world. How are you best placed to communicate your ideas with the world? Is represented by the eight of arrows and struggle. All right. Now the arrows here are not doing you know this person any good. So some of the ideas that you may have may not be the best. All right, but you have that ability to communicate your ideas with the world. And the key is is not in the arrows, but in the light that she's holding. She's got that light of hope that she is, or he, is keeping during this, these cold months, all right? During that wintry day, that blizzard that's out there, you know, uh, keeping people inside, not allowing them to go out and hunt, not allowing them to, you know, fish, all right? Not allowing them to enjoy things. Don't let your communication become a struggle to communicate, you know, with your ideas within the world. All right. It kind of goes back to that, you know, where would you most likely see social change? Don't let that insecurity and that struggle hold you back. Keep your eyes to the target, all right, with that archer, and communicate your new ideas to others. Because that's your gift. That's your gift during this new moon. Set those intentions out there. Think outside the box on how you want to do things. And don't worry about what other people think or expect. That's where the insecurity comes in. When you get, become insecure, okay, you start to struggle. All right? Stay true to who you are. How can you connect with others who align with your vision for the future? It's represented by the Knight of Arrows and the Hawk. Now, Knights, you know, are fighters and tacticians. They also like to start a quest. So maybe this is an opportunity for you to start a quest. A quest to connect with others, to share your ideas, to share those goals and those aspirations that you have, to stay true to your target. By sharing it with others, whatever those intentions are, you, you drum up energy to help you out with those goals, to help you out with those intentions. And when you bring other people into the fold, you, you bring it in different energies as well. That's how you connect with others who align with your vision for the future. Okay. Now the hawk is also a very graceful bird. All right. He will he will spot the prey. You know, many many yards away, and he'll swoop in and he'll get what he needs. This is fast moving action. This this night of of uh, arrows. All right. This is this is quick thinking. All right. If you can be quick-witted and make sure that you are aligned with others, all right, you won't have to worry about that struggle and that insecurity. Okay, that hawk can help you connect with others to align with a vision for the future, to get what you want. Okay, you don't have to worry about struggling to communicate because you've got that mental energy right here. You've got that ace of arrows as well, that breath of life to help you communicate your ideas with the world. And with that, you'll see that social change and equality with, with whatever, in your relationship, workforce, or, you know, in your community. So, you know, embrace that knight of, knight of arrows, that hawk, to help you connect with others who align with your vision in the future. Now, and now when I'm looking at it, you do have five out of the six cards are arrows. So, you know, this is all about mental, ac ac mental acuity, you know, logic and reasoning. 
All right? And which areas of your life would benefit from expressing vulnerability is represented by that four of arrows in rest. Most people look at resting as being vulnerable. You know, being able to sit back, soak up the sun, gather the rays, all right? But resting is a good time to actually think. You're not, ex you know, you might be exerting your brain matter, okay, but you're not exerting yourself physically. And during this new moon Aquarius, you know, you have the opportunity to rest and become vulnerable, okay? And maybe that's the message you get out to everybody else. In a relationship, we're working too hard at this. Let's take a little bit of time to, to rest and re, re, uh, recover. In a work situation, maybe you're stressed out about what's going on, um, you know, at work. And, if, you know, the plans aren't going, are going, going according to plan. Take that time to, you know, take a step back. In your community, you know, get out there, do what you have to do and then rest. It's almost like planting the seed and letting that seed grow. But with, you know, five out of the six cards being arrows cards and being all about logic and reasoning, communication, it's a great opportunity to think about what you want to say, to use those gifts that you bring to the table to spark new ideas based on that ace of arrows, that breath of life. All right. Understanding that you have to be strong in your mental attitude, okay, to not be, to be secure, not to be insecure. To not struggle with how you communicate, but understanding that it's what you communicate to bring people together. So that's uh, the new moon in Aquarius. A little bit uh, discerning spread with all the arrows out there. But it, you know, what that does is that allows you to, to think about what it is you want. Think about the opportunity to do something different, to think outside the box in your relationship or in a social setting or in your work situation. To think about how you can align those values, okay, with both the world and yourself. How do things come into play? And staying true to your goal with that archer. Keeping things on target. Keeping things moving. So there you have it at New Moon in Aquarius. Uh, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, share it with others, and leave your comments down below. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you at the full moon coming up here in a couple weeks. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.